In this video tutorial, we're going to plot the F1 and F2 values that we measured in the last section. And we're going to use a template that was made in Microsoft Excel. So what you see here on my screen are the F1 and the F2 values that I had plotted for the Mexican Spanish male in the words piso, peso, paso, pozo, and puso. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these values that I have listed in this F1 and F2 columns and I'm going to transfer them to the Excel sheet that you downloaded. And it's called valcharttemplate.xlsx. So I see here that the F1 value for the val E is 317. So I'm going to stick it in here. And the F2 value is 2442. And I'm going to do the same for the other vowels as well. So for the A vowel, we have an F1 value of 473 and an F2 value of 2016. And so I'm going to put that there in the chart. Then I'm going to come down and we're going to the A vowel. And the A vowel has an F1 value of 831. So I'm going to put that in the chart and an F2 value of 1328. And I'm going to stick that there. So for the O vowel, I have an F1 value of 508 and an F2 value of 850. So I'll list that there. And for the U vowel, I have an F1 value of 365 and an F2 value of 772. And so what we end up seeing is that Excel automatically plots the vowels in relation to their F1 and F2 values and connects the vowels. Um, what's nice about this sheet is that you can actually compare uh, two speakers' pronunciations of vowels. So you could compare a native speaker with another native speaker. You could compare a native speaker with a non-native speaker. Or you could compare a native speaker's pronunciation of vowels with your own pronunciation of the vowels in the same language in order to see how your vowel pronunciation differs from that of a native speaker. One word of caution is that the vowels that we have plotted here are based on one token. If you were to do this for an article or for a research paper, you would actually have to have several tokens of the pronunciation of these vowels in various different words and different phonetic environments.